Good day. I'm Carl from Dustin, Technical Director for Web Secure Technologies. Welcome to this training video, part four of a three-part series on Spam House and Mail Marshall. The first three parts of this series can be found on our technical blog at www.websecure.com.au forward slash blog. Just click on the Spam House category on the left hand side of the blog. You can see here the first post covered the history of who Spam House are, the second how they happened into the Australian marketplace, and in my last post, Voodoo Rubber Chicken Magic, I explain why WebSecure recommends Spam House over any other available RBL service. Today we're going to look at how to correctly configure Spam House inside Mail Marshal. But before we get started, I should list the three things I'll be using. If you're following this video to set up your own Mail Marshal, then you will need these three things. Your Spam House private DNS feed URL, your Spam House XML file, and your Serbals XML file. All three should have been emailed to you from WebSecure support. Now, let's get started. The first thing we'll do is set up our Mail Marshal receiver rule for Spam House using the private DNS feed we've been given. This will drop up to 85% of all the spam before we waste money downloading it. Step 1 is to update my Spam House RBL settings with the new private DNS feed URL I was given. <coughs> Expand policy elements and click on Reputation Services at the very bottom. You'll see here I've already got a Spam House entry and so should you. This is a factory default. <coughs> if you don't, you can click on New Reputation Service up here. I'll open mine. And you'll see in here it's very simple. There are only two tabs and one of them is simply the description. So in the tab they call generic, I'm going to paste the URL DNS feed that I was given. And I'm going to say OK. You'll see in here that we've changed from spamhouse.com to spamhouse.net. And your key should look something like this. It won't be exactly the same, but it will be very similar. So we're going to say OK. Now we need to go up to our email policy, so we'll expand that in the left hand panel. And you should have something like connection policies here. If your rule set is older, you may have something that says receiver rules or something similar like that. Inside it should be very similar where you'll see the yellow cog rules indicating that they're receiver rules. You should have a rule with the word spam house in it, although the description may be slightly different because Spam House is a factory rule. I'm going to go into the properties of that. Now my rule is already enabled and that's what we're checking for. Regardless of what your rule is called or how old it is, <coughs> your description should be exactly the same as this description, so check that. After I say OK, I'm simply going to commit my changes and we're live. Next we'll have a look at what to do with the two XML files that you were supplied with. OK. You should have received two emails from us, each containing an XML file, one for Serbals and one for Spam House. You need to get these two files onto your Mail Marshal server. If you run an array of Mail Marshal servers, then your network will look something like this. There may be one or two SMTP nodes in the DMZ and an array manager in the private network. In this layout, we want to copy the files to the array manager rather than the nodes. The array manager will automatically upload them to the nodes. On your server, copy the XMLs into the Mail Marshal config folder. I've copied mine here. Here's my Servals XML. Here's my Spam Sensor XML. Once they're in this folder, Mail Marshal can find them and use them in a rule. In my configurator, I'm going to go to Email Policy, Spam and Junk Mail. The two rules that I'm interested in are URL Sensor by Domain and URL Sensor by IP Address. I've labelled my domain rule servals and my spam house rule IP address just for clarity for the training. I'm going to go into the properties of the by domain or the servals one. And I'm going to click on the link where it says and where message is categorised as. Clicking on this link will bring up all available XMLs that Mail Marshall can use. I'm going to go down to the bottom S and I'm going to uncheck the old XML and check my servals new XML here and say OK. Then I'm going to go to the IP address sensor and do the same thing. Clicking on the link 
where message, message is categorized as browse to the bottom, find the old IP address, then find the new spam house, sensor XML, and select that instead, replacing the old one, saying OK. Then I'm going to commit my changes, and we're done.